All right, guys, what's up? So we got a pretty cool truck here. Uh, we've got a one of eight Slee built 80 series Land Cruiser. Uh, so we're gonna go through and talk about everything that's on it. So we'll start from the front. We'll go tip to butt. Uh, and <laughs> that's the way I like to do it. So on the front here, we got the Slee short bus bumper. We got the Warren 9.5 uh, winch synthetic cable on it and then the rigid lights so when this came from Slee um, this is how it came from them this is how they built it so we kept it that way we have upgraded the headlights we did some uh, we did some LEDs in here and uh, they look pretty good because those old lights just don't do the job underneath uh, we've got the Delta radius arms so caster correcting radius arms under there we've got the Dobinson steering stabilizer does a really good job with these 35s. Um, we've got the old old man emu. I'm not sure the number on these, but they're the 400 pound rated old man emu springs. And then we've got Dobinson MRR shocks. So uh, Dobinson steering stabilizer, Dobinson shocks, old man emu springs, which actually came with the truck and the Delta radius arms. Um, and that axle is actually brand new. So that's a brand new uh, axle with an e-locker. All right, so working around. These tires are actually brand new. They were put on today, so it had trail graphers on it. They were from 2015, so we swapped them out. These tires are dated 2023. Um, this truck came with locking hubs from Slee. As you know, most Land Cruisers will not have that. Uh, I'm indifferent about it. I have another 80 that doesn't have locking hubs, so I personally would want one without it, but it came on the truck, so obviously not gonna pull a transfer case and, uh, and change that. But uh, the Icon wheels, love that look. Actually, I have them on my 82. This is my mom's. Um, we got the Safari snorkel here. So, we got that good air coming in up high. Um, I actually like the way it looks. I think it gives it kind of a mean look. Um, these are old school Slee sliders. They don't make these anymore. But um, there's a lot of good options for sliders. As you can see, these have a pretty big bar right here, steel. Um, I haven't seen a lot of sliders that have that. So definitely pretty heavy duty all right as we're working our way around back forgot about the uh, front runner rack you'll see those very popular on these sleeves or on the not sleeves but on the 80 series and then the light bar up top the curved light bar so we've got plenty of light output on this thing ready to light up this guy on the back here we actually have the OG sleeve sleeve bumper so you will not see many of these nowadays but this is a single swing arm Slee bumper. Um, it actually has a come up winch in the back. So we got the winch in the front and the winch in the back. So party in the back here. Um, and then an old school Pia light here. It's got an LED bulb in it that we replaced. Uh, this truck was built in around 08, 09. So LEDs weren't really a thing then. So this had a lot of halogen lights on it. So we've kind of gone through and replaced a lot of those with LED lights. So we got the hijacker lift here. Uh, I've never actually seen one of those used, and especially this kind of truck. Maybe on the rock crawlers and things, kind of. Maybe if you're out doing the Rubicon or something like that, you might use a high lifter. But I like the way it looks, you can see it's got a good patina on it as it sits back here in the sun. So it doesn't really need use. Um, so single swing arm, like I said, we'll open it up here, take a look at it because these you will not see these very often. All right. And then open up the back, we've got a, we've got an Outback drawer system. I believe this design was sold to ARB. These are pretty old, um, but they work great. So easy slide. And then um, we've got the fridge slide here. Obviously no fridge, but yeah, so these both lock and uh, they work good. All right. Oh yeah, locking, locking swing arm. So the new sleeve bumpers do not have locking swing arms. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, kind of indifferent about that too. I have a new, the newest sleeve design on my truck, and I really like it. But I do like the single swing arm. I like the tire kind of in the center right here. It looks really good. It almost looks OEM. <clears throat> All right, as we're working around. We'll open this up. We've got the equipped seat covers. So these are from South Africa. They're extremely tough. We have a blue healer who gets up on those and has a party. So 
as you can see they're they're easy to clean they're easy to wash and they look really good they're super tough i think that's a better option than the seat, leather seat covers especially if you have a dog um, because a lot of people replace the leather with new leather but if you have dogs and things like that seat covers are great i mean a dog's not going to punch a hole in that or chew through it so uh, maybe a melon wild would but not our dogs uh, so inside here we've got obviously our triple locked button here um, so this we actually swapped the axles we put two brand new axles on this truck so that this uh, truck could be triple locked and they're both factory e-lockers brand new steering wheel here looks great these mats are from oh gosh I think Cruiser Outfitters uh, I really like these they're kind of classic look the only two options on floor mats are the uh, weather techs are these and I prefer these so if you have any more questions let me know but I really like those uh, so we just did a whole new sound system on this truck uh, we did Apple CarPlay we did the Sony head unit and then we did all new speakers around um, works great we'll show that in a second when we crank the truck up we kept all the factory covers on the speakers if you have any questions about that whole setup let me know I know how to put in some pretty good speakers with factory covers uh, and you can do it over a weekend at your house. So just let me know and I'll uh, answer any questions you have on that. All right, so let's pop the hood. So this is the real real deal is what y'all been waiting for. The 2UZ engine. Pretty sweet. Should have came in this truck. It was just a little before its time. Let me get the hood latch. All right, so that's the 2UZ right there. Um pretty weird seen on an 80 but man it it just works in this 80 so we'll crank it up let you hear it and uh we'll do a, a drive test too and kind of show you how much more power it's got than that one sd so this is where uh this truck really separates itself from the rest so let's go ahead and get it cranked up you just stay out here and i'll crank it up and let you listen to it Great job doing this conversion. Couldn't be happier with it. We gotta do some cleanup here with some wires, but besides that, yeah, it's great. So go back here. So fairly quiet when it's just idling, but we'll get it on the road and uh, show you what it can do. Alright, so we're in the truck right now. You can see the head unit it looks pretty good. We don't have the Apple CarPlay because we're videoing with the, with it, but yeah, it looks like it belongs in here, honestly. Yeah, well, let's hear what the, uh, let's see what this truck can do. super tight it's a, my, my engine is great and it doesn't even compare uh, to this 2UZ even though they're pretty similar in power the power curves are completely different for these two engines so uh, I'll take the camera and show them kind of the speedometer so yeah we'll show you a little bit here what this thing can do all right let's get up here where we can get a little speed up and then I'll show you kind of what we can how this thing moves
yeah, this engine just drives great. I, I, my mom couldn't be happier with it. She, uh, I don't, I think she knows what she's driving, but I think this is one of the first or second ones they ever built. Um, but man, it's great. guys thanks for watching uh, as you saw this truck's pretty amazing so we're gonna get some more footage coming up we're heading out to Colorado uh, if you're not subscribed please subscribe more content coming we actually have another sleeve built 2UZ80 uh, that we're gonna have on the channel it's actually my brother's uh, so you get to see that so I'll leave you with this ABC always be cool all right guys